In this episode of the Total Mix of Facts Beginner's Guide, we will talk about workspaces and snapshots and how you can use them to save your Total Mix of Facts mixing sessions. But before we start, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and that you also click on the notifications button to get all the updates on future RME products and workshops. As mentioned before, there are two ways of saving our Total Mix Effects session. We can either save them as a snapshot or within a workspace. Let's head over to Total Mix Effects and I'll show you in detail what I mean by that. If we open up Total Mix Effects, we see that we have direct access to eight snapshots. A snapshot contains all the mixing data within that session. These include the queue settings, the channel settings, and also the routing. If I clear out the ADA track for a better demonstration, and I toggle between different snapshots, you see that I not only change the routing because my headphones are no longer in the control room, in the second snapshot, if I go back, the headphones are back into the control room. We also change the channel settings. Here on the top, my instrument inputs three and four are no longer stereo linked, but they are separate mono channels. Again, separate mono channels. If I go to the other snapshot, they are a stereo channel again. And last but not least, we also save the EQ settings directly within the snapshot. So if I toggle between the snapshots again, you can see that the low cut is activated or deactivated depending on the snapshot. In contrast to snapshots, workspaces are a complete backup of your Total Mix Effects session. So everything you see in Total Mix Effects is saved within a workspace. From the routing modes, to my eight snapshots, to my fader groups, to even the layout presets. Everything is saved within a workspace. And I can easily switch between different workspaces right within Total Mix Effects. If I click my W key, on my keyboard, I open up the workspace quick select. And as you can see, I have 30 slots for different workspaces. If I load up another workspace, you can see I have a different routing mode. I have a different channel layout and I even have a fader group activated on the bottom. If I now go back to my previous workspace, by going to Workspace Quick Select, going to the bottom and to the Beginner's Guide, you can see I have now my previous workspace loaded with my different channel layouts. Now let me show you how you can save and load your workspaces and snapshots. In Total Mix Effects, I can save up to eight snapshots right here under the snapshot tag by simply clicking store, selecting one of the eight snapshots and then clicking again on the particular snapshot and it is saved. Or I go to file and click on save snapshot as. Give it a name, let's call it snap. And my destination is the desktop. And now I have a snapshot file and this snapshot file I can share it with different audio engineers with my friends or I can take it with me on a thumb drive so if I go to a different venue or a different studio I can take my snapshot with me and load it up by going to load snapshot and as you can see I can then select the snapshot. Workspaces 
work in a similar way. If I want to load and or store a workspace right within Total Mix FX, I can either go to the file tab and click on workspace quick select. And here I have 30 workspace slots where I can load and save different workspaces. Yeah, again, I can load them, I can save them and give them a name. Or I can go to file and click on save workspace as. I call this workspace, again desktop, and as you can see, I now have a workspace file. If I want to load that particular workspace, I just go to load workspace, click on the workspace file, and I can load it up. Very easy, very flexible, and good for a lot of different situations. I hope this video was helpful. See you next time on the RME Audio channel.